For Krima Media's Policy, I'm Sane Lamini. Joining me today is Tourism Business Council of South Africa CEO, Chifiwa Chivengwa, to discuss the impact of ComAir liquidation in his sector. It seems as if your sector has a lot of challenges to deal with. Uh, we recently had the pandemic uh, followed by the flood in KZN, and now we are talking about ComAir being liquidated. Is there a light at the end of the tunnel for the tourism industry? Well, indeed, we, we have faced uh, you know, lots of challenges, uh, as you have mentioned. Um, and uh, I can safely say that we are at a point now where uh, things are starting, well, have started to look up uh, in terms of the green shoes that we've seen. Um, accommodation uh, income, uh, you know, has gone up. Uh, and of course, many international airlines are starting to come back to South Africa and many people are going back to work. So things are looking rather positive. However, the issue, uh, you know, from the aviation point of view, when you have a Comair, uh, which uh, sort of represent around 40% of, uh, of the capacity, here at home and uh, of course also within the region uh, where they, they fly. I think it, it poses a challenge to us uh, in terms of how do we then make sure that our aviation sector is sustainable and how do we make sure that it supports the recovery of tourism and also it supports the international carriers that are bringing people here at home in terms of partnership uh, and also making sure that we don't have bottlenecks uh, you know, with uh, you know, people arriving in the country. So there are challenges there. But uh, we hope that, uh, you know, other carriers, you know, can fill in the gaps and, uh, you know, the aircrafts that are there can be able to be at least to other airlines and so forth and so on so that we can have, you know, more capacity, you know, air capacity. Is there light at the end of the tunnel? Yes, there is. Uh, are we going to have challenges going forward? We will have challenges, but we've got to uh, deal with the challenges and we, we've got to get over them and make sure that, uh, you know, we continue. And are you satisfied with a com as a explanation? And do you think they have exhausted all the avenues to reach the decision? Well, look, you know, when, when you're dealing with a situation where you need, uh, uh, you know, funders or people who put money in and, uh, you know, no one is coming to the table, uh, it, it, it's concerning. Uh, and, uh, you know, management can only do but so much. You need investors. Uh, you know, uh, whether institutional or individual investors to make sure that, uh, you know, whatever, you know, funds that are needed to run or operate the airlines are there. Uh, but what, what it shows, you know, the, is that, uh, you know, with the lack of investors, is that, you know, investors are afraid, you know, to put their money into aviation, which is something that we need to change from our side. Uh, we've got to show that, you know, this industry has far greater potential and whoever invests in it, uh, will, you know, get their return on investment, you know, down the line. Issues around, uh, you know, the fuel crisis doesn't help. The conflict that we see in Ukraine doesn't help. Uh, so we, we need to make sure that, uh, you know, at the end of it all, uh, we, we, we do show that there is potential and, uh, you know, they will be able to get their return. So that's a challenge that we need to, to show from our side. This means that from the travel point of view, we need to show that travel is recovering. And from a tourism point of view, we need to make sure that, you know, people have interest, you know, to, to see, you know, other countries and, uh, you know, to be able to, uh, to have new experiences. And uh, President Sil Ramaphosa uh, recently said that uh, when he was asked about a uh, com air liquidation, he said that it, he thinks government now must start looking in all sectors, uh, even though they are not maybe part of government uh, per se, like now this issue of ComAir, you've also raised uh, a, in your statement an issue that we normally don't look at, uh, that accommodation as well as car rental services are also under severe pressure because of the liquidation. Can you just elaborate on how these are affected? Well, you know, with this liquidation, you know, we, we, we're going to see the ripple effect uh, down, down the line. If, if you look at uh, how people move around, Take Gauteng as an example. 60% of domestic travelers here in South Africa come from Gauteng. And the majority of those travelers, although many of them do travel by cars to the neighboring provinces, but air travel is quite important. Now, we do know that uh, you know, air travel is much safer uh, than being on the roads. Uh, and we, we do know that our rail system is not where it's supposed to be. So what it means is that uh, at the moment, uh, you know, with the capacity that we have, it means that, you know, car rentals are going to be affected or they may need to find new partners if 
those that were partnering with uh, with, with Kulola, uh, it means that uh, you know other services at the airports are going to be impacted. With lesser people going through the airports, it simply means that you know the taxes that are collected there at the airport are going to be impacted. AXA will 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 see some level of impact, uh, you know, on it on itself. So it simply means that uh, you know from the value chain point of view, there will be an impact. The question is, how do we minimize that impact? Uh, and we can only do so by making sure that uh, you know the Air Services Licensing Council uh, that sits under the Department of Transport gives licenses to those that have applied to increase their capacity uh, on certain routes and those that want to service some of the routes uh, that uh, perhaps uh, British Airways or Kulula was, was servicing. So there has to be an intent from uh, the Air, Air Services Licensing Council to give those that have applied the licenses so that we don't have disruption here at home as well as disruption within the region. So that's gonna be quite important. So car rentals will be impacted, the airports will be impacted, there may be people who may, you know, say, well, you know, I'd rather drive because I, I don't know what's gonna happen with the airlines. So the situation is there. With Kome going through the pedestrian, SAA has gone through that, uh, and who knows if SAA is gonna survive or not, or, you know, we still have the back and forth that are going on. The likes of Mango, you know, are still not out there. So we do need capacity. With tourism recovery, with more people traveling, companies starting to say people must come back to work, there's going to be more people traveling. And with more people traveling, we should be able to, uh, you know, fly them around the country to boost tourism and to make sure that, you know, we service, you know, uh, the needs of, uh, of the citizens as well and also the needs of the tourists. We are talking to you, uh, South Africa being at 35% uh, rates on the unemployment uh, issue. Now, I know when we talk about liquidation, obviously some people will lose their jobs. Tell us about the impact in your industry. Well, look, I mean, there will be people that are going to be losing their jobs. Uh, over a thousand staff members who worked for you know, the company are going to lose their jobs. Uh, so that's not the situation that we want to see. Uh, you know, that's why we're hoping that. Uh, uh, if other airlines are able to pick up uh, and they're able to get, you know, the aircrafts, you know, they may actually be able to pick up some of the staff that are going to be losing their jobs. So uh, that is a sad situation. You know, you've got staff members that are, are coming from, you know, lockdown. Uh, the airlines were not operational. They were not earning salaries. Now that they were starting to go back to work, now you've got the situation of liquidation. So it, it's never a good thing for, for our staff members, you know, to experience. So there will be an impact uh, in terms of, uh, you know, job losses, and hopefully other airlines are able to scale up and employ, you know, some of the staff members. Uh, we'll see as time goes. What are you currently looking at in, in order to make sure that the industry is sustained in our country? Well, the only thing that we can do to make sure the industry is sustained is to get more people to travel the country. So for us, when we look to the entire value chain, mm -hmm. we, of course, need as many South Africans to travel their own country. And we've seen that South Africans can travel because they've, that, they've done so as soon as we came out of the pandemic when we were restricted mm -hmm. from going overseas and many people were restricted from coming here. So, mm -hmm. you know, South Africans came on board, they travel their own country, uh, and we want that to continue. We also need to get more international tourists to arrive in the country. Uh, so that we can, uh, you know, top up to the domestic travel that we already have. And we should be able to see some of our places that we have, you know, really starting to, to you know, get more and more international guests. So for us, is we need to trade our way out of the situation that we're in, and we are doing so. And we've started to see within the value chain around 70% recovery rate. There are others that are higher than that. Uh, but if this trend continues, it simply means that, uh, you know, we, we are... Uh, you know, on a faster pace of recovery, and perhaps even by the end of the year, we may find ourselves, uh, you know, closer to, you know, 100% of 2019 numbers. The Democratic Alliance uh, blamed government uh, for this liquidation. They said government's decision to extend the closure of borders uh, during the previous lockdowns is definitely to blame for this liquidation. Do you agree with that? Well, I don't usually get involved in, the, in, in, in political parties and, and, and what the you know, they say to each other. Uh, what I'm going to say is that, uh, you know, of course, you know, we have been as a tourism business council fighting or lobbying for, you know, this tourism industry to be reopened and for the international 
markets to, to start coming into South Africa. You know, the whole issue of red listing of South Africa by the UK may have uh, had an impact, uh, you know, because, you know, British Airways, uh, you know, it's part of the international British Airways in terms of the passenger sharing. So there were, thing, there were things that we could have done better. We could have opened sooner. We could have lifted the restrictions sooner. Uh, and it's something that we have been vocal about to say, you know, tourism should have been left, uh, should have been allowed to operate, to operate sooner than, than when we were allowed to operate. And that could have helped, uh, you know, the likes of British Airways, South African Airways, and many other guest houses, other medium-sized businesses, car rental companies could have also benefited. Everyone along the value chain could have benefited. So that, that has an impact. In fact, that is the impact. When you look at the pandemic in general and the, log, the rules of lockdowns and not allowing people to travel, that what has impacted all the companies that have gone through liquidation and many companies that have closed doors and many entrepreneurs uh, that are you know, not working today. There was Tourism Business Council of South Africa CEO Chifiwa Chivengwa to discuss the impact of COM liquidation in his sector.